Hell yeah, let's take that off. <laughs> She's not decorated for Christmas. All right, guys, got the Arma Creighton 4S V2 back out for another run. This time she has got some serious upgrades on her. This uh, beautiful M2C racing bash bar right here. It's a 6061. Uh, this is made intentionally to help a little bit of flex because this is a plastic chassis, uh, mainly plastic truck, so you do want it to flex. Uh, but this should keep it from snapping. And all the snap points are right here in the front and right here in the rear too. It does connect the front and the rear modules together. This is definitely gonna be a game-changing upgrade for this truck. I know a lot of you guys with the 3S models and the 4S models have broken the chassis on these, just doing huge airs and just doing even some crashes and stuff will definitely break this chassis. It is pretty tough, uh, but you know, for the extreme stuff, you're gonna need some serious upgrades like M2C Racing right here to uh, make this thing uh, that much more durable. There is plans to make something like this for the uh, 3S models as well. Uh, there is gonna be one for the 4S Creighton and a 4S Outcast V2. This design is subject to change. This is a prototype. So we're just gonna see how it does. I'm gonna try to give it some uh, really hard sends off the ramp. That's what broke this chassis in the first place. It did really good in the dirt, just freestyling and jumping off some mounds and doing some light uh, ramp jumps. But as soon as I geared it up and really hit that ramp at high speeds, that's when it really torqued the chassis and uh, broke the chassis clean off the ramp before I even landed. And also landing in uneven grounds also uh, uh, cracks the chassis. So this right here should definitely be a game changer for this rig, really excited about it. As far as the inside, I did go to a uh, BLX-185 ESC right here. The stock ESC basically just kind of crapped out. So I decided to go ahead and beef it up with this. It gives it more power uh, out of the gate anyway. And also, I'm still running the stock motor with a Hobby Star uh, fan up here. And I do have a 19-tooth pinion in it just for some speed launches. Uh, not something you want to bash with. It will overheat the system. I'll give it some cooldowns, but I really want to give it some hard launches, some high-speed launches to see how this chassis brace holds up. I did go ahead and install the M2C Racing uh, motor mount and support block right here, uh, the uh, support slide, just to go ahead and beefcake it up that much more. But anyway, we're going to give her a quick little blast and see what's up. God, this thing's fast. Rough. And she lives. All right, let's give her a mega send out into the sea of grass out there. It's going to suck having to walk out there and get it, but got to take one for the team. She's alive. Oh, that was close. All right, guys, we'll take a quick look at the chassis. Again, doing these fast ramp launches uh, geared up is what broke the chassis in the first place. That's why it'd be the perfect test to uh, mimic what I did before. And so far, I do have a crack right here. But I believe the battery uh, shifted on one of those uh, kind of uh, rear end uh, landings out in the gravel back there and I uh, forced a little plate down and it pushed through the chassis. But that would have been a complete snap all the way through if it wasn't for this brace right here. And also all these hard uh, ramp hits, even after that crack right there I noticed earlier on, uh, it's still held together with this brace. So that's what we want. We want this truck to stay in one piece, you know, no matter what happens. Even if you get a crack in the chassis, it doesn't mean it's the end of your day. This uh, brace will still hold it together. All right, guys, came out to a dirt spot. I'm gonna give her a rip out here. I did drop down to a 15 tooth pinion. So we're gonna give her another run with that uh, M2C chassis brace and see what's up. <laughs> it looks like it's got some foliage hooked to it. Oh yeah, let's take that off. <laughs> She's not decorated for Christmas. Oh, another ungraceful landing. <laughs> All right, guys, another testament. Still got that brake in the chassis right there, but even with that bad landing, brace is still holding this sucker together. Whoo, 
was a hard slap. <laughs> Guys, this thing is hitting hard in that gravel. Really putting a strain on that chassis, especially with that crack in it. All right, guys, looks like the chassis is still together. This uh, M2C bash bar is holding this sucker together. I still have that same crack right there with the battery tray. Basically, the, the side of it uh, caved in and busted straight through the chassis right there. But if it wasn't for this brace, the sucker would have cracked all the way through and I would have been done. So even after all these jumps, this thing is still held together by this brace and I was able to finish my bash. So big shout out to M2C Racing and uh, we'll get out again soon. All right, guys, until next time, RCG81, peace out. Oh.